My name is Ayemide Lashiri. I am a law graduate of the University of Lagos. I'm a content creator and a YouTuber. And guess what, everyone? I just published my first book. 2021 to 2022, I was in a toxic and violent relationship and it was a really dark phase for me. And then after I left, June 2022, I struggled with a lot of things because imagine being exposed to something you've never been exposed to. I started drinking, like overly drinking, was just trying to find comfort and grieve whatever I was grieving. November of 2022 came, Pastor B was doing the Emotional Baggage series and luckily for me, a friend of mine sent me the link to join, of which I was even struggling with and thank God I did. And just joining the service online that Wednesday actually changed my life because I discovered that I had a lot of baggages, not even just from the violent relationship I left, also from childhood. And I felt better, like a bit of the weight came off. But however, after that moment, I was still struggling because I knew that, okay, now the solution to how I was feeling was God. But having to deal with it and like, come away from everything I'd adopted, drinking and all of that was a struggle. So up until like wine press of um, 2023, then I had an encounter and then God just spoke to me telling me that if I would submit my life to him, he would ensure that I sing Can You See What The Lord Has Done by Nathaniel Bassi. And since then, that was January 28th of 2023, my life has totally changed. For instance, the emotional series, that one was the first verse then wine press. And aside from wine press, yes, I got spiritual growth and everything. Then I also joined the internship program and that one just helped me to find my purpose, like everything, ministry calling and even from the internship, I was able to write my book. So like, Avestas has really, really brought me so far in such a short period of time. All thanks to Pastor B. Knowing that when we come newly into Christ, especially being on this deep journey, it's not easy, in all honesty, because there are a lot of things that we would still struggle with. So having the community and the pastors, being able to talk to people that even along the line, I still made mistakes. There are still moments that I still gave into the flesh. But having people that were there to like raise me up, that no matter what, we love you and God loves you. And God really used these people. And continually listening to Pastor B's preaching really helped my life. So that's really, really gave me the motivation to want to even grow deeper and even want to transform lives because I know my experience and I know what God has done for me through Pastor B and the church. So also that's giving me a force to also want to change and transform people's lives. Also being a part of a small group because under the communities we have small groups where the, because Obviously, we know that Pastor B cannot reach everybody at the same time, but being a part of the small group has enabled us to have accessibility to leaders that can also help us through this, our work. So that also strengthened my work with God. The major challenges I faced, as I've said, drinking, I was really like lost. I didn't know God. I was this person that was always like, oh, I just want to be on my own. But coming into Avestas, I believe that there's nothing I cannot overcome. Drinking went, building community, loving people, spiritual growth. I mean, what more again do we need in this life? So all those things have actually been the core foundation that has helped me get to where I'm, I am now. I mean, if not for spiritual growth, I don't think I would have been able to even write a book or anything. So that has really like helped me. Whatever situation you're in, there's one thing that Pastor B that is like an anthem for me. He says that don't focus on what you can't control. Instead, focus on what you can control. Now, I knew that I could not control what had happened, my trauma and everything, but I could control what I would do with it, what I would make out of it. So instead of dwelling in it, just know that yes, everybody at one point in time as experiences but is what you do with those experiences that matter would they define you or would you also use it to transform people and i want you to also know that you are not too damaged for god 
He's not telling you to come be so pristine and proper. He just wants you to come and trust me that even if you don't have anything to give God, giving him yourself is enough and he would work with it. So you are loved and I love you, but God loves you more. So I would not lie that being a part of Avestas International Christian Center is the highlight of my 2023 because if you are not part of a community or a church, then I don't know what you're doing because that's where, aside from our normal nuclear family, you can actually have a family in church. Thank God for also the um, internship program that I had the opportunity to join. I mean, it was during the course of the internship that I was able to write my book titled Having a Conversational Relationship with God by M. De La Sherry. And that would only come from a place of spiritual growth. Aside from my ministry growth that they groomed me in, I mean, my career path is secured because we had wonderful mentors we had wonderful tutors that really taught us a lot of things administrative wise a lot of things and honestly leaving this internship i would say that i've gotten something that i cannot buy from anywhere it's such an invaluable experience that is wonderful and it has transformed my life so definitely avesta has transformed my life and i implore you to be a part of this family you would never regret it